from Steven Spielberg, director of films about the Holocaust and Japanese internment camps, but also the fun side of World War II. Don't you dare fire that gun in this house! Boy, that was fun! Comes another one about his favorite real war with a fake story about a real policy and fake characters asking if they really have to do this. Where's the sense of risking the lives of the eight of us to save one guy? It's not gonna be easy finding one particular soldier in the middle of this whole goddamn war. This entire mission is a serious misallocation of valuable military resources. This Ryan better be worth it. I understand what you're doing. You do. Saving Private Ryan. Return to a time when punching Nazis wasn't controversial and witness the reason your grandpa doesn't talk very much. That's a realistic look at the sacrifice of the troops on the ground and the armchair generals who send them off to die for extremely dumb reasons. We go sending some sort of rescue mission. They're gonna be KIA too. We are gonna send somebody to find them. In this search and rescue mission, where an entire squad lays down their lives, so Matt Damon's mom can be one quarter less sad. No one Damon's worth eight other guys. Besides, we got a spare. Strap in for some of the most punishing battle scenes of all time. Mama! That opens with a meat grinder that was D-Day. And continues an unflinching mix of the History Channel and Mortal Kombat fatalities. Featuring more nervous looking dudes than the waiting room at a vasectomy clinic. <laughs> and more grown men sobbing than at the end of Terminator 2. <laughs> this film is intense. Can we light it up a bit? Dude, dude. <laughs> Suit up for a film that honors the troops and the tropes with standard issue characters like Tough guy from Brooklyn. I'm done with this mission. Religious Southerner. God gave me a special gift, made me a fine instrument of warfare. Wise cracking Jew. Your father was circumcised by my rabbi, you prick! Anxious rookie. <laughs> Famous actor cameo. And in a visionary piece of casting, Vin Diesel as an Italian guy with a crucifix necklace who cares deeply about family. Capuzzo, get that kid back up there! I can't, she reminds me of my niece, sir! Ain't no such thing as a master race. And if there was, I would win it. Race wars. We invented it. Leading them into the depths of hell is America's dad. Tom Hanks. He's one part weapons geek. Spring mine 44, shoe mine 42s, pot mines, A200s, big mushrooms, tether mine 43s. One part MacGyver. Two MG 42s, two mortars. We could try a sticky bomb. Sir, are you making that up? And one part guy ashamed of his liberal arts degree. Somebody must know he's probably did for a living. I teach English composition. Salute this hero who seems almost too good to be true. He's good. I love him. Then realize, wait, if this whole story is Private Ryan's flashback, everything before they meet up is just his imagination. Ryan wasn't there on D-Day. He never even met Waiter Compasso. He probably just fell asleep watching Boiler Room. He's definitely... Well, I don't want to hear it, kid. Okay. So revisit one of the greatest, most accurate war films ever made that's come to define the conflict for generations until the Call of Duty franchise came along. And honestly, this movie proves COD got it mostly right too. The chat is full of bro talk. You're going home wrapped in American flag with a hunk of cheese in your ass, Caparzo, you smart ass. I thought you liked it in the ass. The teamwork is non-existent. Maybe I should go left, sir. Maybe you should shut up. And if you kill enough of the other side without dying, you get to call in an epic kill streak. <laughs> Come on, that's so OP. They have to nerf those planes in World War III. Starring, look at me, I'm the captain now. The Dirt Locker. Brooklyn Wine Wine. Jackson 316 says I just shot your ass. Fubar Mitzvah. I don't got a squad. 
I got family. What's up, Ham? Giovanni Riblizzi. Bland of Brothers. Malone in the Dark. Army of One. And Paul Giannazzi. Let me get this hitchhiker out of my boot! National Platoon's European Formation. You know, it's really rare when a film honors the greatest generation and inspires the greatest porn name of a generation. I mean, even Spielberg had to give it props. Shaving Ryan's privates. Did you know about this? Uh, no. <laughs> Not until this very moment. Wow. Air hockey is the best Olympic sport hopeful since ping pong. An apple a day keeps the doctor away. But what if you are the doctor? I'm the epic voice guy. Sexy Chimichangas. 